Hi everybody and welcome to another Louis tutorial. I was recently asked by somebody how to clear your browsing history and was absolutely dumbfounded when I went on YouTube to see the amount of rubbish that there is out there in regards to this particular topic. So I thought it'd be only fair to produce a nice video where I can show you step by step of how to do this. The first browser we're going to do is Google Chrome. So if you're using Google Chrome, you need to go right to the corner over here and you can see history there click on history right at the top you will have clear browsing data now here be very careful because if you have passwords saved uh, that you myself i like my passwords saved because i like to make sure that every time i go into an account that i frequently visit i don't have to keep putting in the password every time other people are a little bit more security conscious, so you would tick that if you want to delete passwords as well. Autofill data as well, if you don't want to delete things like uh, autofill data, meaning that if you're filling out addresses and things like that, that it's better to keep that unticked, otherwise you will delete that as well. But everything else, tick the browsing history, download history, cookies, cached, um, hosted apps, uh, even media licenses are not really necessary. Up here, choose from the beginning of time and then hit the clear browsing data. So that's basically it with Chrome. Once you've done that, if it hasn't been cleared for a while, it's going to take uh, a little bit of time. And once it's finished, this box here will disappear. So I'll just show you quickly. That's it. And that means that uh, it's totally cleared. Obviously, I, I clear mine quite regularly. And now let's move on to Firefox. Okay, now this is Firefox. So if you are using Firefox, simply go up to this section right in the corner, click down on it. You will see here, history, click on history. And then you can see here, it says clear recent history. You'll get this dialog box pop up. Once again, choose what you want. Form and history, uh, a form and search history. I don't usually delete because I, if I'm typing in certain uh, addresses again I like them to come up automatically uh, I leave my active logins meaning passwords and things like that but it's up to you what you want to select here if, uh, with what you want to clear uh, browse, browsing and download history you need to check this otherwise uh, certain websites that you've been going on that have might have changed will not be changing on your browser no matter how many times you go on there until this is clear so you click on the clear now and that's it once that disappears it's been cleared now we'll move on to my least favorite browser and that is internet explorer now if you are using internet explorer i would recommend definitely changing it either to firefox or chrome uh, internet explorer is just not uh, as sturdy and not as fast as the other browsers um, and I really haven't used it for more than probably five years now, maybe even longer than that. But if you are using it, you need to go up to the top here to this little cog wheel, click down, and then you need to go to safety and go to delete browsing history. You'll get this dialog, dialog box pop up. Uh, once again, choose what you want to delete, but temporary internet files and website files is, definitely needs to be uh, clicked. And also you can click uh, tracking protection, ActiveX filtering. What that means is that every time you go visit a site like a, a, an e-commerce site or a shopping site, they will put tracking uh, things on your browser in order to be able to track your activity. And that way um, they, they know what sort of uh, things that you're interested in buying. So you can also tick that. So just press delete and that will be it once that disappears and that's pretty much how to clear your history browser i hope that's helped and thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel